Before I do, first of all, Jamie, thanks a lot for doing this uh, interview with us. So, uh, first question I have for Jamie is, at what age did you want to really start pursuing your artistic talents? Um, what age? I wasn't too sure. I think maybe like in high school, junior high, I was really into like drawing little like anime characters. And at that age, I was really... Well, I was just like in a, you know, teenage comic thing and I was thinking of maybe doing like art animation too, like having my little like cartoons and everything. Um, yeah, I was doing that with digital art back then and I was working a lot on that until I went on a trip and when I came back from my trip, my drawing tablet was gone. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, and so I kind of switched from doing digital art to making art on canvas, and that's where my whole art canvas started from there. And I've uh, I've seen some of Jamie's work, and we have this one piece here, and the colors, just like, wow. Um, how do you choose what colors you want to use? Is there any particular style that you like? I usually use three main colors, which are the three main colors I make up all the colors, which are blue, red, and yellow. Um, but yeah, I usually try to work with natural colors and natural things like nature a lot. And yeah, that one was inspired because I went to the tropics a long time ago and I really want to go back because I love the tropics and I love birds, so that's where that came in from. And that was made from like a photo I seen online and I just like drew it to my best abilities. And the background was just like green to represent the forest sort of thing. So yeah, I tried to use um, the three main colors, like I tried to uh, not use black or like white often. Because you can like lighten and shade and color also. So it just creates like more of a vibrant variety. Cool. And. Yeah. Thanks. Well, we already know you have an amazing artistic talent ability, and I understand you have, uh, from what I hear, you have an entrepreneurial spirit in you as well. Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, right now, I I just recently created myself a website just to like um, expand my art selling a little bit more, like worldwide, where it's like more accessible. So I recently been creating myself prints from my previous work. So there, there's a few of them that are available on my website, which I will give the link later on. Maybe in the description. <laughs> okay, cool. And um, yeah, I've also been um, making stickers with my art, which is another little thing I wanted to give out because on my work, where people have clipboards and um, a lot of people have stickers on their clipboards, and I wanted to make my own to put my own sticker on their clipboards too. So that's like something that is like more used a lot. And people like stickers, so no, they're cool. And I was also thinking maybe in the far more future. Well, it just takes a lot of thinking, but and it's just like making my own like designs on clothing also. So I'll say I'm maybe doing that also, but that's just like a lot of planning and thinking and whatnot. But yeah, I also do my own. YouTube videos just to kind of show that side of the world, like we learn visually mm -hmm. and how that gets around. And I'm also planning on doing that also on other social medias like TikTok, like like showing my art on little like 
fun themes, like mm -hmm. a viral song. Because I've seen a lot of those artists on TikToks too, so I just wanted to put mine on there and have it more showcased over there also. Alrighty, and uh, I guess we'll go with one last question. Um, what, I always ask artists this, artists or artists, is, what is your favorite pastime next to art? Oh, my favorite pastime, I'm not too sure. I have a lot of hobbies, like I do a lot of gardening, I work a lot with plants, another pastime would, I guess would be going outside on walks in nature. Um, yeah, I do like exploring a lot. I do like going to new places. Mm. Just adventuring in general. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so taking walks and everything like that, just to, to get in touch with nature, that's always awesome. But uh, in saying that, uh, I'd like to thank you very much for this interview and uh, good luck and any way we can support you through your artwork as far as getting it out on social media through mysticgalleries.com just give us a ring actually we've already done that with you but yeah just let us know and we'll still help you get your artwork out there so thank awesome. you very much thank you also <laughs>